For some years now, I've made it my business to send an Advent message to you for the beginning of the church year. The church year, as we all know, begins on Advent Sunday, and I'm recording these words to share with you what I hope will be a message of encouragement as we begin that new church year. It so happens as well that next year, 2023, is the 1450th anniversary of the date that is traditionally given for the consecration of Asaph as the second bishop of the diocese following St. Kentigern, St. Mungo, who is said to have founded the diocese while exiled from the Diocese of Glasgow, which was his own home. So it's an important occasion, 1,450 years of the life of the Tylee Asaph. We've come through an extraordinary time in Covid, and although the, the great extingencies, the great necessities of the pandemic are now passing on and we're sort of returning to something like normality, the impact on our churches has been great. You've been doing tremendous things to keep church life going during the period of the pandemic and have had to work very hard to keep our churches functioning. And although we're now coming through the time of Covid, we're still facing, I think, a reduction in the numbers in our congregations and we're still facing huge challenges ahead. At a time like this, I want us to be filled not with the burdens of church life, but with the joys. With the joy of uplifting worship, with the joy of a discipleship of Jesus, which is truly life-giving. The Bible has a concept of a sort of Sabbath of Sabbaths so that in the 50th year of the life of the people of God, a jubilee was proclaimed, a time when people could be liberated from cares and burdens and adopt a fresh approach to God. And so we're going to declare Asaph 1450 as a year of jubilee. And by that, we want to encourage you to concentrate not on the burdens of church life, not on the difficulties, but on the joys of what it means to be a disciple of Jesus. Each disciple, we're told in the scriptures, is gifted by the Spirit with a charism, a gift that will excite them and which will fulfill them in their ministry and contribution to the life of the church. If you know your charism, indulge in it in the year of Jubilee. If you're discovering your charism, give some time to find out what you believe God calls you to enjoy. Let's make Asaph 1450 a time when we can be uplifted in our discipleship, when we can say, yes, it's great thing to be a Christian. It's a great thing to be following Jesus. And thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing in our lives. Thanks be to God. Amen.